Welcome back to the Daydream Project, my lovelies. Durga Puja is starting day after tomorrow, and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this look, which is one of my favorite looks to carry around Durga Puja. Since I'm married, I actually wear sindoor as well. You know that you don't have to do that if you're not married. Anywho, without further ado, let's begin the tutorial now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm using Pack Studio Finish Oil Primer and I'm going to take just few drops of it all over my face and then spread it evenly. For today's tutorial, I'm going to use Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. I'm just going to take one pump of that foundation on my hand make small dots of it all over my face and then blend it with my Pack Beauty Blender. Since I want to avoid concealer and I want a better coverage, I'm going to take one more pump of this foundation and apply another layer of it on my face. To set my foundation in place, I'm using Pack Cosmetics Translucent Powder in the shade 06 and again I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to apply it. To contour my face, I'm using Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. And as usual, I'm going to contour my nose, the corners of my forehead, my cheekbones and my jawline. Since we've not used a concealer, I just want to be sure that my under eyes are perfect and for that, I am going to bake my under eyes. Along with that, I'll also bake the area below my cheekbone. Now I'm starting off with filling up my eyebrows and I'm using Miss Claire Eyebrow Cake for the same. For my eyeshadow today, I'm using Makeup Revolution's Flawless 4 palette. I recently got a lot of requests from you guys to create a look with this palette, so here you go. First, I'm going to use this nude beige shade from the palette and apply it all over my eyelids. I'm doing this to smoothen out the base for my eyeshadow a bit more. We're going to use a lot of shades of brown for this particular look and I am starting off with this lighter brown shade for my crease. Next, I'm taking this particular shade which is right next to the brown we've just applied from the palette and I'm applying it on my crease as well. Once that's done, I'm taking this darkest brown shade from the palette and with a smaller brush, first I'm applying it on my crease with a very light hand. and then on the outer corners of my eyelids. Before intensifying the outer corner of the eyelid a bit more, I'm first going to blend out the shade on my crease. Darker shades need extra blending guys, so make sure that you're blending it well.
to intensify the outer corner of my eyelid a bit more i am going to take this black shade from the palette and again i'm blending it only on the corners I'm taking the darker brown shade again and applying it again on top of the black. And now I'm blending my crease one more time. Once that's done, I'm taking this metallic brown shade from the palette and with a wet brush, I'm going to start applying it on the rest of my eyelid. To blend this nicely on the center, I've taken the dark brown shade and I'm lightly applying it where the gold and the brown meets. After that, I'm taking the stunning gold shade from the palette and I'm going to apply it in the inner corners of my eyelid, blending it with the brown. This is how the eyeshadow is looking right now. Now the important bit begins. I am taking Lakme Iconic Kajal in Classic Brown and I am going to create a winged liner with this. It doesn't have to be too neat since we are going to smudge it. You can use any brown pencil of your choice. This Kajal actually smudges pretty easily. That's why I'm using it. Now, with an angular brush, I'm going to start smudging it. I'm blending the outer corners with a round brush. We're nearly done. I'm just going to intensify the gold shade in the inner corners of my eyes a bit more. And that's about it. The eyeshadow is done. Before doing the lower lash line, I'm dusting off the powder that we had applied for baking. I'm going to repeat pretty much the same steps. First, I'm applying the brown kajal on my lower lash line. Then with the angular brush, I'm going to smudge it. And to give it a smoky effect, I'm applying the darkest brown shade on top of it with a round brush. For the area near my tear duct, I'm going to take this shade from the palette which is next to the gold. I'm just going to apply a bit of that near the tear duct. And finally, I'm going to take this shade from the palette and highlight my brow bone with it. The eyeshadow is completely done. Falsies would look great with this eye look, but I know a lot of you don't wear falsies, so I'm just going to use mascara. First, I'm curling my lashes with an eyelash curler. Next, I'm taking Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and applying it on my upper and lower lashes. Lastly, I'm using Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Glaze Toffee on my lower waterline. Before using blush and highlight, I always apply a bit of compact on my face and today I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Compact in the shade 225 Beige. I'm going to apply it all over my face, avoiding my contours. For blush, I'm using Maybelline Master Flush Creator Blush in the shade Afterglow. Next for highlighter, I'm using I Love Makeup Bronze and Shimmer Palette from Makeup Revolution. I'm going to use the lighter shade from the palette and I'm going to highlight the usual areas, my cheekbones, the corners of my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. This highlighter is blinding guys, it is really really good.
And finally for my lips, I'm going to use Nyka Matalicious Lip Crayon in the shade Jade Rose. Lastly, to set everything in place, I'm going to spray some MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix. Guys, you can use any makeup fixer of your choice. I honestly just use this one. We've come to the end of this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it, guys. If you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if at all you want, you can follow me on Instagram as well. On that note, I shall see you in my next video, guys. Stay happy, keep daydreaming, and a very happy Durga Puja to all of you. Stay blessed, guys. Bye-bye.